It is a continuous challenge on how to make UX fit into agile development process, wherein developers are working on tasks in form of user stories. Hello, I am Vic, user experience designer. For this video, I'll be showing you how I am creating screen flows and micro interactions for each user stories using Sketch, Principle, and Overflow. To give you an idea what a user story is, from mountaingoatsoftware.com, User stories are short, simple descriptions of a feature told from the perspective of the person who desires the new capability, usually a user or customer of the system. They typically uh, follow a simple template. As a user, I want some goal so that followed by the reason. Let me remind you that there is no rule on how to design for user stories. It's just about discovering what works for your team. And this might help you with your teamwork process. So I will be using existing design and the user story I will work on is logging in using Gmail account. In Sketch, I will create the missing screens to replicate all the interactions that will happen when you tap sign in with Google button. So first, we need to get a native alert to ask if the user really wants to sign in using Gmail account. Then, I'll create another screen for what's going to happen after tapping on continue, which is, it is going to bring up browser model with Gmail login. And after the Gmail login process, it should take me back to the app and show that it is now logging in. And lastly, the end screen for this user story is the onboarding screen that we already have on this UI kit. So that completes our screens for this user story. And now, we are ready to transfer them to Overflow. First, to build our screen flow, let's select this, the required screens and sync them to Overflow file. There's a free Scratch plugin that makes it easier to import your art artboards from Sketch to Overflow. Then I will arrange all the screens based on the flow that we are going to build. Since Overflow can detect sketch layers, it is easy to select a specific element and connect it with the next screen with arrows. In here, I can click inside an arrow or line and just add a note. So I can explain what needs to be done to trigger the next event. Combining screen flows with notes inside Overflow helps me to explain the whole idea of each user stories. And it is easier to understand things visually. So our flow is now done and I'll open up Principle, a prototyping tool for me to create micro-interactions. 
So just like from the other workflows, I will select the artboards that I want to prototype in principle. My goal of doing prototypes here is to just have more details of the transitions, animations, and interactions within the story that will happen. From here, I'm just gonna skip to the end of prototyping video and let me know on the comments below if you want me to create a separate video for creating prototypes on principle. So yeah, um, we now have a complete screen flow for this user story. You can now upload the file to Overflow Cloud Storage and send the link to developers. There's a lot more tools that you can use, but this is what works for my team since we are all working remotely. Thank you guys for finishing this video. Please hit the thumbs up button, share this to others, and subscribe to my channel. Stay tuned for more videos like this. Thank you.